Hello everybody, Stop and Player. Today we're going to be reviewing LEGO Jurassic World Dominion, a Triceraptor Dinosaur Bike Chase. This is one of the smaller $20 sets that you can get in the Jurassic World Dominion set series. And this comes with two great minifigs as well as an exclusive dinosaur. So without further ado, let's stop talking and get to the review. As always, we're taking a quick look at the packaging. As we can see here, it is a LEGO Jurassic World Dominion set. We get the set age, the set number, the set name, as well as the piece count. Across the bottom, we get the included dinosaur and minifigs in the set. In the top right, we get the Triceraptor breaking through the amber with the mosquito in the amber right there. Then, of course, on the front, we get some action shots of this set. As far as the top, we get the Legos of the sets again, information of where it was made, the minifigs and mini dinosaurs in this set, as well as actual size minifig picture of Owen Grady included in this set. On the left hand side we get the Lego Lego again, not for children under 3 and Lego Life. Along the bottom we get the logos of the set again, information of legalese, recyclables, and the barcode. On the right hand side we get the logos again as well as the set name in different languages and the Atrociraptor photo again. As far as the back we get some extra shots of this set with showing the breakaway of the set, the movability, as well as this nice little build here. We also have the dimensions of the dinosaur relative to a human, but that's pretty much it for the packaging. Next up are the included minifigs in this set, and this set comes with a total of two minifigs. Starting off with Owen Grady here. As far as detailing, we do get some face printing, and he does come with two different faces. One with his arched eyebrow, then of course, one where he's angry. As far as detailing on his torso, we do get a nice gray shirt and that printing does extend to the back. We even get his normal leg printing with his belt and tool kit. And that's pretty much it for Owen Grady. The other minifig is of course Rain. And we get some nice detailing as far as his face printing because we do get a bearded structure as well as a nice snake tattoo. He also comes with two different faces. One where he's angry, then of course, one where he's still kind of angry, but not as much. As far as detailing on his torso, we do get a nice undershirt with a jacket that overlays down to his pants, and that printing does extend to the back. As far as accessories, he does come with, of course, his trank gun that we've seen in many Jurassic Park and Jurassic World sets. But that's pretty much it for the minifigs. Next up, we have the vehicles and dinosaurs included in this set. Starting off with the non-dinosaur of the bunch, we do have a basic Lego bike that is a very simple build, but it gets the point across. And of course, you can take your Owen Grady minifig and stick him on here and attach him to the handlebars and have him escaping from the Atrociraptor. That's pretty much it for the bike. Next up are these two little dinosaurs here. Now we've seen this mold before, and we've seen it many times, but we do get two in this set to resemble the showdown in the underground fight arena of the dinosaurs, and they're nice little additions to this set. The last but not least dinosaur is of course the newly Atrociraptor, and this one is white with some brown stripes on it, and we do get nice red eyes on this figure as well. As far as movability, all that you're able to move is the mouth that is supposed to open and close. So you don't get the full mobility as the other raptors, like his arms and legs, but an overall still nice dinosaur to add to your collection. That's pretty much it for the vehicles and dinosaurs included in this set. Last but not least, we have the structural builds of this set, including a nice little build off to the side here that we will take a look at first. This build includes a nice little cage down at the bottom where you can take one of your miniature dinosaurs and place them in the cage, like you see in the movie. Then of course lifting up this awning we will reveal some amber bricks, including the mosquito and amber brick that we've gotten many times before in many Jurassic World sets. With that out of the way we can take a closer look at the main structural build. As far as detailing on it we do get two gates here, as well as a little lamp in the back and a nice bonehead triceratops. As far as playability features, we do have a nice turnstile here, which you can turn, which will turn the circular platform. And you can also recreate a scene in the movie using this platform by taking your rain minifig, placing them there, then of course taking your two smaller dinosaurs, where they escape from their 
Captivity, and Surround Rain. The last play feature we have is of course this breakaway arch, which is the right side. It will come off, so that way when your Atrociraptor comes running through, you can tear it off to make it look like he's making some damage. That's pretty much it for the play features of this set. After taking a look at everything including this set, this set has a lot going for it. It captures a specific scene from the movie, it has an exclusive dinosaur in the set, not to mention this set will only cost you about $20 depending on where you buy it from. So in my opinion, it's an overall great set to have and I'm glad to be adding it to my collection. But that's my thoughts, let me know what you think of the set down below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure you like the video, comment down below, and subscribe so that way you're not missing a thing. And thanks for watching.